episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. That was a, uh, a friendly kiss. Oh, yes, it was. That was a kiss It means I'm glad I'm here, and uh, I'm glad I'm here with you. <clears throat> well, uh, that's exactly what you managed to communicate. Good. <laughs> You're saying that uh, we're going to have an affectionate time here, and we're going to share and relax and be happy, and that uh, we're not going to bed together, which is all right because that's precisely the basis on which I issued the invitation. Understand. I'm not nearly as uh, anxious and compulsive as I used to be, but uh, professionally and personally, I still love knowing exactly what's expected of me. I think most people do. Uh, should I start the fire? Please. Which is not to say that in a personal situation I'll necessarily cooperate, but when someone tells you where they are, it's such a comfort. Intuition's lovely, but it's so fallible. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it anymore with people I care about. Problems arise, of course, if the other person isn't quite sure where he stands. Uh-huh. Hey, the fire's already laid. Oh, yeah. The house rule. The last person to use the fireplace dumps the ashes and lays kindling and wood for the next person. So, on a cold winter night, you don't freeze to death while the furnace is revving up. Oh, and who did this? I did. Good work. Thank you. Oh, lit right up. <laughs> you get the satisfaction with those matches of uh, one match fire without burning your fingers. Uh-huh, sure do. You want some cognac? You bet. <sighs> mm. Makes me feel so safe. The fire? Uh-huh. Thank you. We are safe here, you know. Happy New Year's again. Same to you. Mm. <clears throat> this is so wonderful. The ocean and the wind and the darkness. Four strong walls. And a fire. And a friend. <laughs> I am so glad that beer spilled on Delia when it did. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose, Yeah, you know. I know that. I know. But I didn't want to share you with her tonight, either. And I wasn't very sure if you were going to be able to get away from her. Would have been all right. I knew I had to. Did Roger's toast upset you? Well, we all knew that Roger would probably do something, and I guess under the circumstances, uh, he exercised more self-restraint than Delia had any right to expect. That doesn't mean I didn't feel sorry for her, though. You want to take care of her? I've, uh, I've spent a long time wanting to take care of Dee. I guess it's a habit that's hard to break. Pat? Why do you want to take care of her? Oh, it's an honest question. I, I really feel that whatever's going on between you two is, is terribly important in terms of who you are. And being kind of interested in who you are, I'd, I'd really like to understand. I'm not sure I understand myself. Do you still love her? In a way, yeah. And sometimes I come close to hating her.
Todd Manning. This week. On every my identity, my family thing from my life. Now the moment his family never expected. Oh my god. Who are you? I'm Todd Manning. And you're not. Watch One Life to Live. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. We asked Bradford Anderson to name all the Spinelli nicknames he could remember. Go! Stone Cold Mr. Serpicino esque one, uh, Maximista, blonde one, original blonde one, Prince Pectoral, Big Daddy Stone Cold, the goddess, the divine one, bad blonde one, the demented one, oh, um, the Valkyrie, um, the Brusk Lady of Justice. I could be here for literally three days, probably. See who Spinelli will nickname next on General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Only Kleenex brand has Sneeze Shield in all its tissues to help catch sneezes in their tracks so kids can pass on the fun of being a kid. Sneeze Shield your kids wherever they go. Now a new convenient on-the-go packs. My doctor told me calcium is best absorbed in small, continuous amounts. Only one calcium supplement does that in one daily dose. New Citrical Slow Release continuously releases calcium plus D for the efficient absorption my body needs. Citrical. We get cats. They're into the royal treatment. So they deserve the smartest choice in litter. That's why Fresh Step Scoopable has carbon, which is more effective at absorbing odors than baking soda. Fresh Step. Your cat deserves the best. Bye, Mom! Bye, sweetie. You'll do great. <laughs> this is it! A new school year has so much potential. Hey, any resolutions? My resolution is the same as always. Keep her full and focused with my fiber. Three, two, one! Happy school year! This school year, make a resolution to give your kid Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheat Cereal, an excellent source of fiber from 100% whole grain that helps keep them full so they can focus on the day ahead. Keeps them full, keeps them focused. Paxil, Zoloft, and Depakote, if taken during pregnancy, may cause birth defects. If you or a loved one took Paxil, Zoloft, or Depakote during pregnancy and your child was born with a serious birth defect, you may be entitled to a cash award and medical expenses. If your child suffered a serious birth defect and you took Paxil, Zoloft, or Depakote during pregnancy, call 1-877-399-5799 now. You don't get it. Jill is and always has been one of the most independent women I've ever known. I mean, I've nearly had my head handed to me once for suggesting that she take an umbrella out with her because it was raining. And you walk in here, rearrange our entire evening, tell her what she can and can't do, and she says, yes, Seneca, anything you say. Now, what gives you the right to dictate these orders? And why do you put up with it? Now, I'd really like to know. You see, I don't have to answer you, Frank, one way or the other. This is really more than I can take. I want the two of you to stop it right now. That Jill is supposed to be in bed with her feet up. The life of this child is more important than a night out on the town. I don't care how bored she might be. And you remember this, Seneca. I'm the mother of this child. I've elected to carry this baby. And I will fulfill my responsibilities to it. And I don't need you or Frank or anybody else, for that matter, coming in here and telling me how to take care of myself. I know how I feel, which was, before you walked in that door, wonderful. Now go. Get out of here and leave us alone. Only after I get assurance from one of you that you're going to get back on that couch with your feet up. You may not, under any circumstances, come into my home and dictate to me. Get out! Now, wait. Will you just wait one moment? I still think there was no danger to Jill or the baby in having a ten-minute cab ride and a quiet drink by a window with a view of the city. Quite the contrary. Now, if you had arranged this evening, Doctor, I think you would have realized that it's far better for Jill to be relaxed and happy and to think about almost anything else but this pregnancy and what may or may not happen. Now, at this point, she's upset, I'm mad, and you've just about undermined the entire thing. So you really can go now. We plan to spend the entire evening here. Do I have your word? Oh, for heaven's sake, Senator! Wait, wait, wait. Good night, Doctor. Now listen, stop by any time. It's always great to see you.
I'm sorry. You, you understand why I did that, right? I mean, not because he was issuing orders and, uh, and it was bad for you, but because he was upsetting you. And the only other way I could think of to get rid of him would have upset you even more. I'm not so sure of that. Ah, so. <laughs> uh, Dr. Bolak, you do not realize <laughs> what you have offered intolerable insult to Frank Ryan, <laughs> master of the martial arts. <laughs> You know, he may have an inch or so and a few pounds on me, and I know no, he moves pretty minute. good. His family has a big lumber company in Canada. You know, they used to get together on Saturday nights and try to throw each other uh, into the St. Lawrence. I wouldn't go looking for trouble if I were you. Oh, well, you <laughs> you perfectly well know that I am basically a non-violent person, but if he can't follow my logic, and if he manages to resist my irresistible charm... <laughs> I'm really sorry about this evening. Oh, it's all right. Mm. Thank you. I am not going to pout. I know you're not. We're together. Doesn't matter where we are. And here has definite advantages. Mm? Well, for one thing, <laughs> the head waiter would have frowned at your bare tootsies <laughs> here. And I'm, I'm kind of inhibited about all this in public. Mm. Are you really? Uh-huh. Ah, oh, then it's a good thing we stayed here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think Pat Ryan could hate anyone. That's a strong word for a whole confusion of feelings. I get angry at Delia for exactly the same reasons that I want to take care of her. She needs so much love. She needs endless reassurance. Only she doesn't ask for it. She demands it continually. And I get so frustrated because I can't give her what she needs. And then guilty. And then angry all over again. And I guess a little scared, maybe. Why? Because I know that on one level, she knows exactly what she's doing. And I think a lot of the time, she, she's doing it consciously. Patty, I need you. I can't get along without you. Help me. And while I'm watching her do that, I'm watching myself respond to it, too, even though I may not want to, and even though I know that she's got to take responsibility for herself. Like when you followed her to Boston? I knew when she left that note she wanted me to come after her. Mary knew it, too, and she tried to talk me out of it, but I went anyway. Is that because you couldn't... Bear the idea of her sailing away with Roger? It's because Roger is no good for her, and she knows it. You know, you're really wrong about that. But never mind. Are you glad you brought her back home again? Well, I'm glad Roger's not wearing her like a carnation all over the south of France or wherever. At the same time, I know it was a mistake to go after her. Really? She was expecting me to uh, provide some alternative to Roger. And uh, I can't. <laughs> so now she, uh, she feels betrayed and angry, and, and I feel guilty all over again. Oh, don't do that, you idiot. You don't deserve to feel guilty about anything. You're a wonderful person. You take care of everyone, and they love it, and you love it. <laughs> but enough's enough. <laughs> well, you asked, so I'm trying to tell you. I don't know. I'm still trying to work through it myself. One more question. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> Delia's incredible, isn't she? <laughs> I was so determined not to bring her up tonight. And what am I going on about? Delia. Uh-huh. <laughs> incredible. Anyway, one more question. Mm-hmm. It's going to take Rogers some time to get over the Boston crisis, but... He really does love her in his own beautifully selfish way. And he's just about as much of a determined person as she is when it comes to getting what he wants. Yeah. <laughs> so, how would you react if she and Roger got together again? I would try not to react at all. You sure about that? I wouldn't like it, Faith, but I wouldn't do anything. What I have to do now is put as much space between Delia and me as possible. She's got her own life to lead. She has her own directions to find, and uh, I just can't be in the middle of her life. Have you told that to her? Yeah. She didn't believe me. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she didn't. But I meant it. 
You're prepared, aren't you, for a whole variety of wonderful crises, which only you can resolve? Well, I'm afraid that this time Delia will have to resolve them herself. You know, we're going to have to think of a whole lot of ways to keep you busy in the next few months. Good thinking. <laughs> for instance, lots of interesting patients, all of whom are brilliantly diagnosed mm -hmm. and successfully treated. I like that. And an exhausting <laughs> social life. I mean, theater, the opera, not to make you feel guilty or anything, restaurants, <laughs> dancing, and lots and lots of exercise. I mean, ice skating twice a week, a little cross-country skiing. You're leaving out the best part. Maybe you're saving it for last. Uh, what is that? Somebody to share it all with me. Actually, I have a terrific idea about that. Me too. Erica King snaps. Next stop, Oakhaven. We're gonna have so much fun. Janet! Now it's one crazy run-in after another. Oh my god, Dixie! Leading up to the most amazing reunion yet. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. We asked real people right off the street to help us with an experiment for the Febreze Set and Refresh. They agreed. Take a deep breath. What do you smell? There's a freshness. Actually, it takes me outdoors. Apples and pears. Sort of a crisp, fresh feeling. It's a friendly environment. Go ahead and take your blindfold off. <laughs> no. The Febreze Set and Refresh with scented oils that eliminate odors for 30 days so you can breathe happy, guaranteed. I'm Ronnie from Jersey Shore, and keeping it real is what it's all about. That's why I use Xenadrin. I'm Sonia, and I got real Xenadrin results. I lost 35 pounds, and I've never felt this sexy. Get Xenadrin today. Get Xenadrin. Get results. Bold. Cold. Discover the hold of a long wear in the luxury of a lipstick. Infallible La Rouge from L'Oreal. Fancy. 30 luscious shades with breakthrough power hold pigments and nourishing vitamin E for the most luxurious 10-hour color. L'Oreal's Infallible La Rouge. People are talking about General Hospital's Sean Butler. Patricia Rich posted on Facebook, he is a good-looking bad boy with a good side. I'm really digging this one. Elizabeth Cross agrees. Oh, yes, he is a sexy man. Sookie Williams Ellis adds, I trust my eyes when I look at him, and they like what they see. Judy McCoy says, good choice, GH. And Kathleen Hahn sums it up. So damn hot. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. <laughs> no, the fit's on. What fit? When you know. For instance, if somebody were to ring the doorbell, I'd know who it was. If the phone were to ring, I'd know who's calling. How do you know when the fit's on? You know that, too. <laughs> well, then I hope the phone rings, because I don't want you to miss that chance. No, well, 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 well we're not. I'm going to give you three wishes. Can you do that? I think so. It just popped into my head, and part of it's that whatever comes into your head uh -huh. is right. I don't understand. Don't talk about okay, it. Just okay. make a wish. I don't know how long it's going to last. Um, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I can't think of three. Oh, one, then. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I wish yeah. that you would always love me. You didn't have to use up a perfectly good wish to wish that. Now, try another. Come on. I wish that you will know that I, I've never loved anyone else. And I probably never will. What, what's this probably? You're not taking this seriously. I am. All right, then. You've just used up two perfectly good, solid gold <laughs> wishes. I mean, the kind that could turn you into the first female oh. attorney general and me into president. Oh. I mean, for Pete's sakes, you don't have to wish for stuff you already got. I love you. I know that you love me. Now, try again. Please. OK. Hmm. Something about the baby. No. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. I just don't like. The idea of playing games about the baby, that's all. Are you okay? Yeah, really, I am. Mm. Come on, help me make a wish. I uh, couldn't interest you in about a million bucks, could I? Uh, nope. And since you are the most beautiful woman on the face of the earth, we uh, don't have to work on that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Why don't we just wish that this year will hold everything in it that we want and joy, hope, love, and you and me. I like that.
next. Spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley on All My Children. Only on SoapNet. This summer, the party's on SoapNet. We have a party to rock. Never take over my life. Nothing is going to change how I feel about you. I love Ken Die, baby. Oh, it is so on. What? Shut up! And you won't believe who's coming. You're back. This is one summer shindig you don't want to miss. I am ready to have the summer of my life. Only on SoapNet. Gone. If you have symptoms of a yeast infection, know this. BV, the most common vaginal infection, has similar symptoms. So before you try Monistat, use the Vagisil screening kit. It can tell you if you have a yeast infection or need to see a doctor. Don't guess. Test. Pool filled with caramel? Not as good as chocolate filled with caramel. Milky Way Simply Caramel. Life's better the Milky Way. Enjoy the luscious fragrance of Glade Vanilla Passion Fruit and wait for it, wait for it, and now it's also Hawaiian Breeze. Two Glade fragrances meet in the middle, filling your home with one incredible combination. Get Glade two-in-one candles and release the magic. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Todd Manning. This week. On every, my identity, my family, thing from my life. Now, the moment his family never expected. Oh my God. Who are you? I'm Todd Manning. And you're not. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. You don't understand the pain that I'm feeling. The Spencers have never been more vulnerable. It's Jax. He's back. Can't you go any faster? Look out! Oh my god. Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. She's a best friend. Solidarity, sister. Yeah, yeah. A mom. I have to know where you are at all times, especially when you have my shoes on. She's Lorelai Gilmore. I think I'm dating Luke. Let's just go back in there and see if anything's weird. Is everything okay? Yes. That was a little weird. Gilmore Girls, every Saturday at 5 and 6 and Sunday at 1 and 2 on SoapNet. Three. Hmm. I that says 4.30. Do you believe it? Nope. You sleepy? Nope. <laughs> I don't want this to end. Mm, me neither. Hey, want to go for a walk down the beach? Now? Yeah. Are you out of your mind? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I was just thinking? What? I was thinking I haven't spent a nicer evening in years. Really? Mm. I couldn't be closer to you more at ease with you, more free, even if we'd spent the whole night in bed together. Thank you for saying that. It's true. I just realized why it's true. Why? I'm in love with you. In love? As in falling in love. Um, would you care to comment, or should I assume you're interested and go on? Oh, I don't know what to say. I mean, I, mean, I, I know you love me, but I thought I was the one who was in love with you. And I really didn't think you'd catch up with me for a while, if ever. 
I love you and I'm in love with you. But I want you to understand it's entirely different from the way I love Delia. How? We're free. We share. We're each responsible mm -hmm. for ourselves. What I want to do more than anything else is to make love to you right now. If that's what you want. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What you thinking about? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Actually, I was, uh, I was thinking about you. It's mm. a nice smile. <laughs> <laughs> well, you make me smile. Oh, I've spent so many years inside my own head with all my little plans and my little lists, all my emotions neatly filed away and categorized so that all my attention was always focused on what to do next. Nothing ever uh, got through, you know? Did I ever smile? Upon rare occasion. <laughs> <laughs> there was this baby in the hospital the other day. He was in for a blood workup. He's fine, thanks God. 11 months old, round and cheerful, just delightful. His mother stayed overnight on the floor, so she was there when I came in for rounds. And I stopped by his crib and I said hi. And he looked up and stared at me for a minute. And then he smiled, one of the most beautiful and sweet smiles I've ever seen. And I laughed. <laughs> And then he laughed. <laughs> and then his mother started. <laughs> and all three of us sat around for minutes laughing and, and enjoying the moment that he was able to share because he accepted a small token from me and turned it into a moment of joy for all of us. I bet you were that kind of baby. I certainly wasn't. Uh, you've improved with age. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. Oh, yeah? I'm sorry. About what? About suggesting that we come here as friends and... and not lovers. Because I do trust that you care about me and... I want to love you. I want you to love me. Now, now where did you go? Who are you thinking about? Uh, you. Oh, I think we're both nearly asleep. <laughs> mm, you may be right. Well, there's two guest rooms upstairs or the bed down here. Which do you want? Upstairs, I think. <clears throat> you coming up? No, I think I'll stay here and look at the fire for a while. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.